Like, oh, yeah. Ro- all Rosa has to do is, like, jump and wait. I mean, there's not much she can do in the matchup in general, because, like, from my perspective, I do short-up up airs and ro- falling full-up up airs. You can't land on Rosa. just never happening. So you're forced to go to a ledge or a platform. If you go to a right. ledge, I set up jabs, and you can't go to the ledge ever without doing the, the up B trade, which is still my favorite, because you have the ledge. And I just kind of, like, punish you for it. And if you go to a platform, I just kind of do falling up airs, and your show gets poked eventually, or you try falling off and get hit. So I feel like... I feel like the only way you win in this matchup as DK is you have to kill Luma at low percent before, like, we can really just start juggling you for free and keep that Luma dead. Or, when you get to, like, 100 plus percent and our Luma does too much knockback, it gets hard for us to chase you because you start building air acceleration while we're going in the air. So, at, like, the 100, like, 20 plus percent window, it gets hard to continually juggle you, but you shouldn't live that long anyway. Like, we should get up air kills around 110. So, off yeah. just, like, 50-50s. I, I want to see. Okay, so this is this is him versus Kirihara. Oh yeah, right. We still have Hikaru versus Mr. R. Yeah, we won't we won't forget about that. Yeah, him versus Kirihara, him versus Abadango, then him versus Mr. R. We're not watching it really in like the the order that it happened. I just want to see that set versus Mr. R because I feel like there was another epic pop off for that one. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll save that one for last. But um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I want to see how. Hikaru deals with this. I know that I've basically given up on this matchup, but that's not necessarily true. If I'm fighting Rosas that are other than you, Sam, I mm-hmm. still go DK, and I could still win. Yeah. But, like, if I don't feel like putting in that ridiculous amount of effort, I'll just go Cloud. Yeah. Um, so now let's see. So he's trying to land. Okay, he does eventually cross up and get the landing. I mean, I know he takes a game or two from Kirihara. I don't think Kirihara plays it well, though. Like, I think this is one of those matchups where Kirihara... Uh, style isn't as optimal as mine just for how you're supposed to play it because like he's like r- rising with like up airs and like full hops and he could just short hop and like cover DK and the ledge and stuff cover more options right like stay yeah. closer to the ground mm-hmm. alright so there's the dash attack that's the main tool that DK is going to use yeah but it's not to worth get rid it because like he does that oh he misses a free regret. He's de- oh he's dead yep. yeah he did forward and had landing leg because he didn't do like he could just this up is the double edged right. sword level it's like Yes, this is amazing for Rosa because of the low percent up air kills, but at the same time, like DK early ding dongs. Yeah. And there you shouldn't follow up up air and just 50 50. <laughs> oh, that's it though. Yeah. One yeah. of the things I liked about watching Kiri Hada's play is how aggressive he is off stage. And there it is the cargo up throw up B, 35. Because I, I, I feel like after watching him aggressively edge guard, I started watching you aggressively edge guard more. Yep. I've literally just been doing that because he was doing it. And I was watching it, I noticed, I was like, yo, Sam is definitely going to apply this, like, immediately to his play. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. happy about that. Man, Kirihara was like, like, he has the best offstage advantage state by far, and I'm not sure for juggling who's better, we're probably even, but like, like, he just ends stocks with things I wouldn't even consider. This game is a lot closer than I thought it would be for this matchup, yeah. but that just shows you that Hikaru just, just again, he's just making trades... Yeah. He's you also don't think that he should be able to. Okay, he crosses up there. You notice he's also, whenever Rosa's jabbing, he just tries back airing Rosa and Luma. Like, he'll take the damage to hit Luma away. And if he kills Luma, it's so worth it if he can just get back to this neutral. Or even just the damage in general. The trades are worth it because Rosa dies so early. Wow, that empty jump into grab. I think so he should have dashed that. If he, if he dashed that Rosa going to ledge there, he could have killed Luma and won the game, I think. I mean, he gets it now, but... Now he's outside, like, like, the window for rage killing. He might be? Yeah, no, he definitely is. And he notices that, which is why he's just going for damage now. Oh my oh, god. That was, that was smart. Yep, jab kills Luma. Wow, jab, jab, barely did enough. Yeah, Kirihara just got scared of the ledge and did something, and Hikaru, like, reacted. I want to say that this is one of the first times where Hikaru has actually been on the edge more than, like, three times a match. That was so good. I like how he, he took away the jump with, like, jab, I think, because Kirihara tried to jump out of, like, the juggle and he got jabbed for it, and it's up tilt. So he had no landing options left, because down air loses to, like, DK stuff. Yeah, he capitalized there. He went for uh, the jab sweet spot up tilt. Um, I feel like, yeah, the spacing wasn't there for the sweet spot, but then, yeah, he just didn't have a jump afterwards, and he covered him. Knowing that air dodge, or I guess down air, was his only option. Yeah. Okay, up game two. I like Smashville as Rose in this matchup because you can never land against Rosa on a small stage like Smashville. You just you just can't. Alright, we see Kirihara waiting now for the air dodges. 
And again, Hikaru being forced to go to the edge. Yep. He's trying to jump off. We haven't seen that. We haven't seen it. We've watched a bunch of sets, and like he, he's been able to just challenge and get down. Wow, that was a good air dodge timing. Yeah. He knew Justin Kirihara was going to go for the air dodge. Free punish. And then... Okay, this is actually scary. Yeah, if Kiri gets like... Like, he's at ding dong percent right now, actually. <sighs> he wanted pivot grab. Yeah. No, if he got that, that would have been the yeah, that game winner. Yep, Ugh. yep, the back air. And Hickory just pressed the button, so he couldn't even, like, air dodge that. Yeah, that knockback angle, if you're not ready to DI, is so devastating. That was a good reaction. The Nair forces an air dodge and just grabs. That was a godlike Nair. Did you see how he started off in the front and then drifted back? That's the way that you always want to land with DK, if you can. Mm -hmm. Because the positioning when you're behind someone's shield after a Nair is, is perfect. Wow, did he yep. just get up? He just got up. Yeah, he acted too fast. He's, he's so scared of <laughs> the ledge. He's like... Like, Hikaru is not going to trump him at that percent. He'd rather go for a grab, so I feel like Kira doesn't and need wow, to Wow, that was so good. That was smart, yeah. Just that was Luma. pretty... Not necessarily that safe, but, like, it just killed Luma. It was the perfect spacing for it. Yeah, no, it was worth it, because, like, Rosa isn't going to be able to, like, juggle DK too hard at the low percent DK's at with just Rosa up airs and stuff. At least not that easily. Ooh, this is scary, though. Okay, Hikaru... Uh, Kirihara missing a juggle there. Oh, Taking that, that raw good. punch. And Luma's dead. But Luma, now, like, tried for dear life to, to stick stick onto the stage, but, like, just clipped clipped the edge. Yeah. <laughs> this is the problem. Is Okay, he got... Oh, this... A grab is it. He should just went for the grab. That would have probably got him. Oh, no. See, like, Kiri's waiting for air dodges. I think Hikaru could just go for attacks like that more. Oh, he could have tilted Luma for a kill. Yeah. He's gonna die. Yeah. Because he's trying to avoid the ledge, because whenever he's on the ledge, he gets his life destroyed versus Rosa. So now he's just... Can can we go back for a second there where Hikaru landed with Nair? Did he have an opportunity to grab where he went for up tilt? Um, you can find that point. I don't know where that was exactly. It was literally, like, right before where he landed, uh, and before, like, the ending situation. Let me see. Six. It was right here. Okay. Well, he, 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 he was getting the up tilt for damage. Yeah. I wonder if he didn't shield after the second Nair hit, if he could have just, like, followed up for a back air or something to kill. Because, like, he shielded thinking the Nair didn't hit, and he lost a lot of potential damage. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, the, the fair was uh, a little unwarranted, but definitely, like, characteristic of Hikaru's play. He honestly just doesn't care a lot of times when he's landing. He'll yeah. just, like, throw out moves. So... But you can see that this is the the one matchup where you don't even like really trade when you're landing if you don't get past Luma. If you throw out a hitbox, Luma's just like okay, and then like you just get clipped. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it was very frustrating because like if Rosa gets hit though, she can't afford to get hit. Like four or five hits and she's at ding dong percent. Yeah, it's true. And we saw that Hikaru had instilled fear enough that uh, he was catching those that instant ledge get up. At ding dong percent. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, that almost was a suck. That was close. Oh, if you just short about Barry, could have frame trapped. Right there, I would either, yeah, I would go for up air just to keep the stun on Luma mm -hmm. or continued up tilts because I think he had enough damage on Luma just to keep I, it in stun. Oh, wow. I feel like he could set up back airs. I get to Rosa's side and just hit Rosa Luma yeah. with back air. And not yeah, that's true. Bad. That's better too, actually. I like that. Oh, well, now he's done. Yeah, no. Jesus. Uh, he had no jump left, then it's Rosa. Yeah. <laughs> it's Rosa on Tamsin, and he has no jumps left. <laughs> we all know what happens. You know what? I kind of want to explore this matchup a little bit more, because I feel like... <sighs> it's... With it's the combination definitely... of Hikaru's style, and, like, knowing when you absolutely have to go to the edge, like, I think it's a little bit... It's, it's, it's still terrible, but, like... It's winnable. I just think you have to think about this matchup differently than you normally know because most of Rosa's matchups, like fighting her, you have to think about the matchup differently than the regular characters. But like back air is really good versus Rosa. I'd imagine for air to air. Um, in general, just if you like bully Rosa out of neutral and center stage, she might struggle. Just don't let her have grabs. If she gets like grab up air, up throw up air, you're done. And um, and w watching watching this set also reminds me that. I think I, I think when I play versus Rosa, I'm a little bit too linear in how I deal with Luma. Mm -hmm. Like I never really thought of like F smash. 
Like, if I see that Luma, if you're chilling in shield at any point, like, if I can get an F smash out, even if it just hits your shield, it, as long as it clips Luma, it sends her, like, super far. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you down tilt oh, Luma, this is... it just gets okay. stunned. Like, you can just... And jab also knocks Luma out, so, like, you can use jab or down tilt. And up B is also pretty good at Rose's pressing a lot of jabs. It just goes through jabs. Yeah, this was just bad, I think. I think this was just, like... This was, like, a super four glory pick. Um... But, but, you know, it can work. It's Little Mac on FD. Yeah, and not, Rosa is not amazing versus Mac. Like, she probably beats Mac, but that's just because she's a better character. Wow, did that not even hit Luma? That hitbox. Yeah. Since Rosa is so, like, floaty, down tilt, like, only works, like, 10% <laughs> for Ooh, combo it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That was, that was, that was unfortunate. Could this be it? Yeah, this is it. Falling yeah, up there? Yeah, or forward. Oh, oh wow. no, he just had to like falling forward and he could have suicided for the kill. Or even just not even suicided, probably. It doesn't matter, though. Like, and Hikaru is just like. like he's just trying to forward smash Luma and. Yeah, GR is. No, it's done, yeah. He's just like, oh, you have no options. You're, you're, you're Mac. <laughs> Jeez. That was just. That just felt bad. <laughs> Kira Hart, like, can't even, like, pop off after that, because it's, like... I love seeing how happy the Japanese players are after... Even, like, no matter what, like, after their sets with each other, they're just, like, smiling, and, like... It's either, like, an anguished smile or, like, a pop-off smile, obviously, but, like, even, like, Abba, when he loses, he'll just, like... He'll smile. He's obviously disappointed in himself, but, like, he's also proud of his other, like, Japanese... Yeah. ...brethren. It's definitely (laughs) different. They definitely just enjoy the game more when they play it. You can tell. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't know. If I was Hikaru, I could not be enjoying the game after that matchup. Yeah. He didn't do bad, though. I think it was just a couple of key situations where he could have had a little bit more advantage if he just, uh, at, like, zero to death Luma. Like, he had a, a lot of, like, good one-touch kills on Luma. But yeah. if you up tilt and knock up Luma, like, it should it should be on you to kill Luma at that point. Like, yeah. I think you I mean, should try to, but... I think if he just went for back airs when Luma's when Rosa was in the air, it would have just it would have killed Luma because Rosa can't contest the back air range, and it would have forced Rosa to air dive and probably still get hit. So like, he could have yeah, just it, it would Rosa linger it would linger the back air hitbox on Luma also. So that's a good point. If yeah, you knock up Luma. The going for back airs at that point is actually smart. Yeah, back about jabbing Luma and down tilting like to mix it up and just kill it. Like, it should be hard for us to out neutral. Because for example, Bowser's actually good at neutral versus Rosa. Because jab and down tilt and forward tilt all like are actually obnoxious, and we juggle them harder than DK a lot of times. So it's I was, doable. I, I wonder why he he opted for Little Mac. Maybe I mean just that, being able to super armor like smash away like Luma or something. I don't know. Yeah. Or like dash attack, just like quick moves that kill Luma, like dash attack side B. Yeah, I mean that game three was kind of like a heartbreaker. Like he could just didn't get to do anything. It felt like it was just oppressive at that point, so... Yeah. I couldn't understand that. <sighs> oh, well. I mean, now we get the ge- 